Welcome to Olympian Water Testing, giving you the best in water analysis. Today we're looking at the Polish Journal of Environmental Studies at the effects of elevated levels of manganese and iron in drinking water on birth outcomes. We often think of lead and arsenic as dangerous heavy metals, but what about too much iron? What does that do to unborn babies? So they have an abstract, which we're going to take a look at. They examine the impact of elevated exposure levels of pregnant women to manganese and iron through drinking water on pregnancy outcomes. What did they find? They conducted an epidemiological study among 16,408 pregnant women of Kaunas, and they assessed each woman at a residence for exposure to manganese and iron levels measured in the four Kaunas public water supplies. They also used a logistic regression to model the association between the drinking water quality and the birth outcomes controlling the co-founding variables. And this is interesting to see because they had a small control group, but they had some interesting results where the analysis yielded an increase in adjusted odd ratios, AOR, for term low birth weight, LBW. For moderate exposure, 1.53, 95% confidence interval, and 1.70 for high exposure levels. And maternal exposure was associated with a mean reduction of 21 in birth weight. So as we can see, this really causes issue. The more that they're exposed, the lower the birth weight is. No associations were observed between manganese and iron levels and preterm birth. So in conclusion, these findings suggest elevated levels of manganese and iron in drinking water are associated with a reduction in birth weight in term born infants. However, further individual epidemiological studies are necessary to investigate factors that contribute to the increased sensitivity of some pregnant women. Now, this is interesting for a number of reasons. One is they took a look at this group. Now, they still need to do more studies. They still need to look into it more. However, iron is thought to be something that is generally beneficial. However, what most people don't know is we get most of our iron from our diet, and the EPA categorizes iron in drinking water as harmful because it usually has a bacteria with it that can affect us negatively and it can also cause environmental problems it can cause issues with our tub it can cause issues with washing clothes but more importantly if someone is pregnant in the vicinity or about to give birth or there's young children then it's important to take note that iron in drinking water did potentially affect birth weight reduction and it made a lot of these babies potentially lose some of the birth weight or cause some issues in the womb. So if there's someone pregnant in the vicinity or if there's someone who you might have small children or someone with toddlers, something like that, then it's always a good idea to periodically test the water for high levels of iron.